Good morning from a Thunderbird train going from Osaka to Kyoto. So in an ideal world as part of my Japan itinerary what I really wanted to do was to stay in Kyoto for a few nights. Um, however when I was looking at accommodation because it is um, cherry blossom season right now it's the very start of April there was no accommodation in Kyoto for my budget. Um, like looking at hostels there was literally one hostel. So instead I decided to base myself in Osaka and I thought I'll just do a day trip to Kyoto and then tomorrow I'm gonna do a day trip to Nara so I'm just heading there to Deton right now it's gonna take me half an hour from Osaka station to Kyoto it took me about half an hour to get to Osaka station as well so it's not a bad journey and um, it's included in my JR pass as well so I feel like I'm using that so yeah I'll see you in Kyoto and let's see how today it goes So Kyoto has two places that are like the iconic Japan places. It is the Inari Shrine, which is where I am now, and also the Bamboo Forest. So if you've seen any photos of Japan, it's gonna be from one of those two places. And the best time to get to them, obviously, is in the morning when the crowds are less. Um, because I'm just here on a day trip, I mean it's about nine o'clock right now actually, so it's still quite early. I could only obviously choose one of them to go to first thing. So I've come to the Fushimi Inari Shrine because that was closest to Kyoto Station. So the main like temples and shrines are behind me, which I do want to see, but I'm going to see them afterwards. I'm going to head straight for the row of Tori gates first because that's the kind of iconic place that's going to get busier as the day goes on. Wow, here's the start of them. Well, there are so many Tory gates and so many steps as well. I've been walking for nearly half an hour now. I'm nearly at the main kind of viewpoint and only now has it finally, I'm just waiting for someone to get a photo because only now has it suddenly got quieter. That first bit for ages and ages was packed. So if you do come here when it's busy, just keep on going, keep on going and it will get quieter. Look how busy it is an hour later. Fushimi Inari Shrine done and I'm so glad I got here at nine o'clock. It is now 10 o'clock and it is so busy, but I've heard they've got some really good street food and I can see it. So I'm gonna see what vegetarian stuff they have. What, what's the... Oh, benchy. I've just caught the train into the area of Gion, which is a really old area of Kyoto. I think these buildings are about 300 years old and I feel like it's again what you kind of think of when you think of that like really old traditional Japan. Now these cherry blossom bad boys behind me are absolutely beautiful but they are of course the reason why it is so busy here in Japan right now. Lots of photo shoots happening and it's really popular for people to rent the kimonos um, so lots of tourists do that and obviously everyone wants the shot under the cherry blossoms. Another thing that this part of Kyoto is famous for is the real life at geishas. So I feel like you're very, very lucky if you see one because they don't walk around that much. I did read memoirs of a geisha. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Is it geisha or geisha? I don't know. But anyway, I read a really good book um, many, many years ago. I can't really remember what happened now, but I know that it was really good. So if you are coming here, I would recommend reading it just to understand what they have to go through because it's such a strict routine and way of life in order to become kind of like the best one and to serve like in the right way and it's really really interesting culture um, but yeah let's have a mingle between all of the tourists in their kimonos and I'm not taking the piss to be honest actually because I did think that I wanted to do this at one point but I don't really think I do now I 
must say that Kyoto is absolutely lovely. I mean, it really helps that it's a beautiful spring day today. It's a really nice mix of, we've got the mountains over here and then we've got the city and it's a really modern city, but obviously you've got these older areas and older buildings as well. And then you just keep bumping into so many different temples and shrines, like every few streets, there's another temple and another shrine. <laughs> through Kyoto Park which was okay it wasn't as nice as the river though I much preferred walking along there and then I've just come to the castle I assumed that you probably would have to pay but I just thought it's a good point to walk to and you do it's 600 yen for entry or 1000 for entry in this and the palace um, it looks well I can't really see it from the outside I can just see the moat I just can't really even bother to go in um, so I'm not gonna pay I'm not really into that kind of sightseeing right now yeah so what am I gonna do now now I'm gonna try and work out the subway system because I want to go kind of a lot further out from where I am now to see some of the temples and go to the bamboo forest so my next stop is the bamboo forest because I just want to make sure I fit it in um, but I just had I think a clever moment because I got on the subway and I was about to change subways to go all the way out to the forest which is quite far out and then I realized that there's a JR line that goes all the way out there and the thing is is when you get the subways here, you have to pay for them on the ICOA card. And I've been topping that up quite a bit, to be honest. Like, whereas when I get a JR line, because I've got the JR pass, it's free. You will never guess what has just happened to me. I am so far out of Kyoto right now. It is not even funny. So in theory, my thing worked, getting on a JR train, except I got on a rapid JR train that doesn't stop. So literally we've gone through the mountains. I'm so far away from Kyoto, which is fine because these trains are, they go really fast. So that's why I've covered a lot of ground in literally like 10 minutes. But the guy came around to check my ticket and I was thinking, I don't have a ticket. And then I showed him where I was going. He was just like, no, no, no. So now I need to get on this train, the local train. So now we're gonna stop. But the scenery was amazing here. But I swear the trains in Japan, I thought they were gonna be really easy because everyone talks about them and they are efficient and they are on time and they are regular. But they're just really, really confusing because they have rapid ones, local ones. My camera battery died. So yeah, the signs are obviously in Japanese first and then they go into English, which is good, but you just really have to keep an eye on them and make sure that you are getting like a local or a rapid or the right ones. Um, yeah, but I have got a window seat for this one. So I'll show you the scenery because it was absolutely beautiful. Kyoto is there. I wanted to go here and I'm here. So as you can tell right now I am in the bamboo grove and I mean I knew it was going to be super super busy and um, this is the place that you always see on Instagram of like the girl in the dress and whatever with no people in it but you definitely have to come here in the morning and probably not in high season as well even just like with all the people here I feel like it's not really worth the hype like it's not I mean it's nice but it's not like how it's made out to be like the major place to go I think what's also interesting and definitely with Kyoto and I mean this happens with everywhere but for example like the Inari shrine this morning that I went to and then this you kind of just think oh well they're both in Kyoto but they're actually so far away from each other and quite far out of the city center as well but yeah I'm going to check out more of this area there's loads of temples around here some parks obviously the cherry blossom is out but I think this is going to be my last place in Kyoto Wow, 
wow that was actually crazy on the way back out yeah if you're staying over in Kyoto you have to come here in the morning and I mean so many people are like renting kimonos which cost so much money and like there's no way you can get like a clear photo at this time so yeah you really do want to come in the morning I don't have any regrets about not coming in the morning because I'm glad I went to the Inari shrine this morning I felt like that means more to me and that I actually really really enjoyed that and the actual bamboo grove is really really small as well like it's not that long but I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm just gonna head back to the station head back to Kyoto station and then head back to Osaka station hopefully in that order as well hopefully we won't take any detours but I have really enjoyed my day in Kyoto I really really like this city so if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments and hit subscribe for more travel videos and then I'm gonna go back to Osaka for the night back into the hostel that I do not like um, and then I'm going to get up tomorrow morning and go on another day trip from Osaka but this time to Nara so I will see you tomorrow in Nara bye